Good morning. I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan. This is your Coscast for Thursday, October 22nd. On Tuesday, we introduced our psalm this week, Psalm 118, and we looked specifically at the verse that was quoted in this week's gospel reading. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Today, I'd like us to think a little bit more about Psalm 118 as a whole. So we put it in the context of the events of Holy Week, especially thinking of this as the last of the Passover Psalms, perhaps the last Psalm that Jesus and his disciples sang before Jesus uh, went out into the Garden of Gethsemane. There are so many connections between Psalm 118 and the events of Holy Week. I'd like you to think about those connections as I read the Psalm, and then we'll discuss it a little bit more after. Psalm 118, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. In my anguish I cried to the Lord, and he answered me by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me now? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us. O Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. With bows in hand, join the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give you thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. This psalm takes us to Palm Sunday. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. It takes us to Good Friday. In my anguish I cried out to the Lord. My foes surrounded me. And yet think of Jesus saying the words of this psalm. I will not die but live. Jesus knew the whole story. He saw the whole picture. And even though he was about to hang on the cross and die a temporal death, he knew he was not going to be abandoned to the grave eternally. I will not die but live. He rose on Easter Sunday. And so shouts of victory resound in the tents of the righteous. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Because of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we can have the same confidence. I will not die, but live, even though we face a temporal earthly death as well. We know that Jesus has won for us an eternal victory. So even on a day like today, kind of gloomy outside, rainy, we can still have joy in our hearts. And remember, this is the day the Lord has made for us. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Jesus has won the victory, and that victory is ours through faith. God be with you today.